Now, my next guest is going to be alongside her pal Dermot O'Leary presenting this morning, a little bit later on this morning. But first, Alison Hammond joins me with her new book. Now, she's sharing her passion for black history. It's called, Alison, it's called Black in Time. Did you see what I did there, Lorraine? I did see what you did there. Black in Time. We're going in back time. in time and we're looking at black history. Absolutely. Um, now, this all came after you did that documentary, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so Alison Hammond, Back to School, and we covered about four different black figures and it was just brilliant. But there were so many other figures that we could have covered in that sure. documentary. We could have made six documentaries. And I always thought to myself, wouldn't it have been nice when you were at school, when my eight-year-old self was at school, wouldn't it have been nice to have a book about black history so sure. I could see myself and just have something, some reference of something positive to look forward to and to, to aspire to. So I know, just thought, what a great idea. It's a fantastic Let's idea. Let's put those black figures into a children's book. But the thing is, it is a children's book, Lorraine, yeah, yeah. but adults will want to read this as oh, well. Oh, no, I learned a lot. I love how you, you learn things. And I mean, that, that's why we love what, doing what we do, because we learn things. Because when I was at school, we didn't get Scottish history. Exactly. Interestingly. And it was only after I left school that I sort of went back and looked at more Scottish history and found out more about it. So this is this is great. You've done all the hard work. Well, I, I can't take all the credit because if it was left to me, I'd still be writing it now, to be honest with you. <laughs> I had an amazing co-writer. That's good. Her uh, name was Emma Norrie. Thanks, Emma, you were amazing because she, like, kicked me into gear, made me meet deadlines and stuff like that and has just kind of brought the book alive. And as you can see, it's very colourful, just like me. <laughs> it's a wonderful read for your kids. And what I want people to know is that this book is is for all children, of not just black children, of for course. all children Absolutely. to share different stories. And I think it's important to read about other people's histories as well. And these are people that are kind of unknown. Mm. They were hidden in the shadows and I brought them to life. Well done. It's and, and we are getting better with that. I mean, see, you know, Alison, see when you look at things like, like Bridgerton and you look at books like yourselves yeah. and you look at the documentary that we've done and it's all about just learning. Yeah, exactly. Just learning about interesting people. And we're yeah, all human be beings and we all, it's, a, it's a basically a part of connecting with other people, sure. learning about other people's right. histories. So I think this is a but book that all children should have. I really, my hope for this book would be that it's in every single school so you can read it. Yeah. I mean, there's footballers in there, politicians, musicians, poets, you name it. This is the one book that is not about Alison Hammond, you'll be happy to know. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not in this book, it's not about me. This is the one book where it's about other people's legacies and, and making sure that legacy is alive and it lives on. And this book is doing exactly that. I'm so excited. Honestly, if my mum was alive now, she, this, this would be the moment she'd be really proud. Because yeah, my legacy be is obviously my big laugh. <laughs> That's going to go down in history. <laughs> but honestly, really and truly, these people's legacy, these unknown, amazing, wonderful people, that they are the, the people who are going to go down sure. in history. That's going to be really a really are. important book. And you're right, having it in schools would be really good. You mentioned your laugh. Did you know that you were a sensation? I came across, you know, I go down rabbit holes online. You do, don't you? I really do. I think we all do. And you know John Oliver that does HBO in America? Yeah. Where our Alison is... Um, <laughs> Huge across the <laughs> pond. Have a look at this. Literally. Just you, that brilliant <laughs> laugh. Everybody, everybody just, and, and there was a huge reaction to that in America. It was, it was a like, huge wow, reaction, but the only thing is, Alice. now when I go to America, yes. they straight away say, Alison, just do the laugh. And I'm like, well, make me fun, make well, me laugh then. Maybe I'll say you, something you've got funny. To be fu you've got to be funny for me to, to give you that laugh. I don't just give it easily like no, that. But do you know what? What a lovely not. thing to be remembered for. A, a, a laugh, Fantastic. that's it. And, and we all need that, don't we? It's so therapeutic, so it's soothing. When you can it's laugh. Like this. I mean, yeah, I could watch I mean, that all day. It's just the best. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, Lorraine. I hardly touched him. I don't know why he went in. Do you know what I mean? I hardly honestly, touched him. Honestly, it was just like, yeah, he was just, he was there, he was in there, he was diving in. He was I diving love live in. TV. Don't you love live TV? Well, you never know what's going to happen. You never know. And there's my Dermot there. Ah, oh, that was my birthday. That was. That was lovely. That was my 47th birthday. It was birthday. lovely. It really is a Friday feeling. It's excellent. It works so so well. And you are. In such a great place. Everything's doing 20 years since Big Brother, which is crazy. And if they did ever bring... I think they should bring Big Brother back, like, maybe for a special or something, and you have to host it. 
Well, you never know. Well, the thing Let's is, Ryland's on the show today with his Oh, mom. right. He's well, the two So he'll probably have a load of gossip, so I will ask him about that. I think but nobody knows what's it. going on. I would love to see it come back, love if I'm honest with you. Back. I, I loved Big it's Brother. Tame. I don't know why they took it off in the know. first place. I don't know what the reason was. It's all the politics of Big Brother. But I personally, I loved it. And it launched my career, let's be honest. It you know, it's, I'm so grateful and so blessed to it, really. And blessed that I didn't win it, because maybe my career would have gone a little bit differently. See, I keep forgetting that you didn't, isn't that odd? I only spent two weeks in there. It was like a mini holiday. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> you had the best of it. Actually, you had the literally absolute went in for two weeks, and then when I got uh, evicted, yeah. they turned it into the rich house, poor house. So like, oh, it's the best time for me to come it out. It was. You 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 sorted it absolutely. <laughs> and congratulations. I know because Dermot revealed it to everybody because <laughs> you were trying to keep this lovely romance under wraps. I know, but, but you don't want to put pressure on anything. You do don't. You? But it's great. It's just great. Well, all I'm going to say, I'm not going to say no, we love don't. and everything. No. Like, all I can say is he makes my heart sing and I feel contented and he enriches my life in ways I've never had before. Alison, you don't have to say any more than that's that. It. Anybody that does that for you, that's fabulous. Oh. That is fabulous. Honestly, I think we should just have you on every Friday. Well, we are on Come every on. Friday. No, I know, but on here. <laughs> oh, on here to... is a wee well, sort of do preview. You I know. can do that any time you want, darling. <laughs> <laughs> but this morning is, is you're loving it, aren't you? It's do you know what? It's one of those well. shows. It's such a treat. It changes all the time. The crew, I mean, you've got some of our crew today. Yeah, I'll say, well, well, I'll no, say that I they're say, our crew. You've got some of my crew. <laughs> 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 and, and I just get on with everyone so, so well. We've got such an amazing team and it's so exciting. And obviously, I've got the best person to work with, Dermot O'Leary, who angel. is an absolute treat and yes. I just love him to bits. And we're going to see you really, really soon. Like, yes. really soon. Like, really get... soon. But I don't want to go. I mean, no, do I we'll stay here. I might have a little read of my book. Read your book. Um, black and Time, the most awesome black Britons from yesterday to today is out right now. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.